Hey guys, Greg C96 here with the MHC 2017 May Hardcore Challenge. Lost in the Fog. Not sure what that character is. Large biome, structures on. Hardcore. Let's roll. Alright, so we can't do F3 to this month, so I gotta pay attention to time. Um, so some of the things are, I'm playing it on two chunks and moody, as opposed to just two chunks, and I also have clouds on to make it kind of more moody. So, you know, make it seem a little more foggy, lost in the fog type of thing, um, because that's what this month is. You can't use coordinates of any sort, we're just kind of dealing with very short render distance, kind of like fogginess. Hmm. I think I've over-explained that to death. You know, GTEM, is this an outdoor video? I don't know, man. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry for no face cam for this video. Um, having some problems with getting it to work, you know. Been having some issues with that on Risen so far. It's not very fun. But hey, whatever. Okay, so we started at 1212A, so that means at 1232A will be the end of this episode. Here's zombies already. We're at a village. So lots of food for free. It's a pretty good month in terms of food. Let's see, do they have any other farms in this village? My goal is not to get too far from the village because I don't really feel like getting lost. They do have another farm. Okay. Got ourselves enough to make some bread here, that's nice. Okay. Um, my apologies if I sound exhausted and just super out of it, mainly because I am exhausted and just super out of it. Any more farms in this village? Some iron down there, but I hear a baby zombie. And a skeleton. Is this a different farm? That is, though. And this is the same farm, but some more stuff has grown up. I'm gonna leave the beets alone. Oh, there's more farms over there, too. Wow, there's a lot of farms at this village. So yeah, food is gonna be plentiful this month. Not even a concern. Not even a concern. Stop it, pigs. I'm holding a potato. You're trampling crops because I'm holding a potato. That was bizarre. Now they don't want none of that carrot. I'm really confused. They trampled stuff. That's not cool. What are they doing that for? I don't have the means to re-till right now either. Okay, so let's... What is it doing? Why do potatoes like pig... Uh, carrot... Like potatoes now? What the heck? 
Words. Where, where, what's going on with my words? Okay. Let's get started on something, I guess. Dirt in this house. Or this is a good place to start, though, I think. Maybe. I'm gonna need more planks than that, though. Okay. What we're gonna do actually is. I'm gonna make this the start of the mine. Nah, you got nothing. Your trays are bad, bro. So the moody brightness is gonna make this month hard, I think, even more than like normal. I'm gonna grab some cobble real quick so I can make a furnace so I can make some charcoal. This is really dark. I don't know how much you guys can even see right now. Okay, charcoal time. I don't know if it's even close to nighttime because, um, you know, I look out the window, can't really see very far. charcoal going. Make some torches, just a couple. Mainly so I can start lighting this up. Why are you following me, villager? Trying to push me into lava or some BS? I don't think so. Why am I running into so much dirt? I don't know what biome I'm in either. I think it's a taiga. This moody brightness is making this real hard. Can't get far away from a torch before you can't see anything. I want to make some stone tools too after this, I think. And looking at my clock, we're probably about just to nighttime-ish. Very close here, anyways. I'll re kind of structure that a little bit. There's a squid in that fountain. We aren't quite to nighttime yet, though. Been real good for food. I'm actually gonna use that to cook all the potatoes right now, because I should find coal or just get more charcoal. I want to make stone tools. Okay. At least a stone pick for now. And I think we're going to go the route that I never go and make a stone sword. And we'll use the rest of this wooden pick for now too. But so I do have a plan here. I did a lot of time spent in test worlds of varying seeds and whatnot because since we can't use cords this month I have to kind of guess to go where diamond level is so I did some experimenting to figure out because um, one of the things you do in this game or you can do is there's bedrock level which is kind of super jaggedy so based on a bunch of worlds worth of experimenting I didn't need to use the crafting bench for that, but yeah. 
I want to be able to dig down to bedrock. And then once I'm at bedrock, dig up it's seven blocks, I think it was. And then that should get me pretty close to the diamond level. Oh, perfect coal. That's going to make some more torches probably for me right now. Because those are going to be very important this month with the moody brightness. a lot of coal here too that's nice and the other thing I really don't want to do this month is I really don't want to get off into caving because I don't want to lose myself so I kind of want to do my strip mining this month especially this month uh, and the other thing I did is I sat and I mathed out maximum exposure like what size a strip mine should be, that type of stuff. And the benefits really that you get. So standard two by one strip mine exposes you to six blocks, which is eh, relatively minimal. A three by one exposes you to eight blocks. So you're less efficient per block broken. 2x2 two two is also super inefficient because you're not getting exposed to very many blocks. Um, you're only getting exposed to 8, same as a 3x1, three and you're digging one more block to do it. 3x3 um, three three strip mine, you're getting exposed to 12 blocks, but you're also getting exposed to 12 blocks by digging out a 1x2, skipping 2 blocks, and digging out a 1x2. So I think the classic 1x2 tunnel is going to be my best bet for most efficiency. Because I'm going to have to just kind of go for gold and try to find diamonds that way. I also need to find iron too. And there was iron, super easily exposed. But nighttime is not the time I want to go out and find iron. It just isn't. Especially because, you know, I can't see more than 16 blocks in front of me. Never know what's gonna come creeping up on me that goes bump in the night, but there's iron anyways. Cool. Hopefully at least enough to make an iron pickaxe. Yes, plenty to make an iron pick. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'll make another crafting bench. And I will put that furnace. That's not what I meant to do. Don't do that. I'm actually gonna put that furnace right as the step, just so it's kind of here because I also just I really want to get a pick going right now because if I find diamonds this episode which I have like seven minutes left to do I want to be able to actually make use of it right away Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. <laughs> okay, not what I meant to do. But yeah, so we're going to want to dig to bedrock and then go up six blocks. So that's the mission here, to at least get to bedrock before the end of this episode, because we got six more minutes-ish. I would like, to, if I got diamonds on day one, that would be pretty cool. Another nice thing is I've barely gone through any of my food supply. I haven't eaten anything, and I've barely gone through any food. I thought I heard lava. 
I do hear lava. So I gotta be careful. Be very careful. Shoot. That's exactly what I didn't really want. Stop it. Oh man, play some blocks is not a strong suit for me this month. Alright, but we gotta keep going. This is impending doom. It's probably a mistake. I don't want to go for like any of that coal. Because <laughs> it's probably going to spell my death. That's andesite, not bedrock. Okay, but we're at bedrock. So we want to go up. Let's just dig around the area a little bit, see how much better rock there is. Okay, so we want to go up one. So this is bedrock level, so presumably level five. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So lava level. Oh, okay, perfect. Just so nothing can spawn in there and make obnoxious noises. So we're at the level we want to be at. Cool. Let's just dig and see what happens. We're going to dig just a ways here. Got redstone. That's cool. That would have been an interesting part of the challenge if I made it so I could only light stuff with redstone torches. That would be tough. Maybe I'll implement that. Two minutes left. Oh, there's gravel. Gravel's annoying. Especially when you don't have the right tool for the job. Because I really don't want to keep digging through gravel. Okay, so we're going to just start mining back here, I guess. So that's the lava. We're going to go this way, because the cave kind of swooped around towards this side on the other one. And I don't really want to end up in the cave. I almost saw lava there, I thought. I was concerned. Still hear that lava. And 
that's the theoretical end of the episode there. So we'll save and quit out. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should modify this challenge again a little bit more to do only red sewed torches. I haven't recorded episode 2 yet, so it will take effect next episode. If you guys think that's an interesting challenge. So let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.